This is Bishop George Murray. On behalf of your Catholic friends and neighbors in the Diocese of Youngstown, I invite you to join us for this celebration of the Holy Mass. Good morning and welcome to our celebration of Holy Mass. Today is the 12th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our celebrant this morning is Father Jim Corda, President of CTNY, the Catholic Television Network of Youngstown. I am Ron Puhala from Holy Family Parish. As we pray this Mass, let us remember in our prayers Dick Barrett. Faith of our fathers living still in spite of dungeon, fire, and sword. Oh, how our hearts beat high with joy whene'er we hear that glorious word. Faith of our fathers, holy faith, we will be true to thee till death. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. It's nice to be with you this morning as we gather to celebrate God's love for us in word and sacrament. So let us together acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and, and to, to you, you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters, that I have greatly sinned, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, of her Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us join the angels in their hymn of praise. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on, on earth, earth peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. Of goodwill. We, we praise you, you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we, glorify we, you. we give you thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord, Lord God, God, heavenly King, King O God, God, Almighty Father, Father Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, only begotten begotten Son, Lord God, God, Lamb of God, God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear the whispering of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped. Then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me, like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble, they will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise to the Lord for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, Lord, in your your great great love, love, answer me. For your sake, I bear an insult and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's children. Because zeal for your house consumes me 
and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, Lord in, in your, your great, great love, love, answer me. me. I pray to you, O Lord, for the time of your favor, O God. In your great kindness, answer me with your constant help. Answer me, O Lord, for bounteous is your kindness. In your great mercy, turn toward me. Lord, Lord in, in your, your great, great love, love, answer me. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own, who are in bonds, he spurns not. Let the heavens and the earth praise him, the seas, and whatever moves in them. Lord, Lord in your, in your great, great love, love, answer, answer me. me. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, through one man sin entered the world, and through sin death. And thus death came to all men, inasmuch as all sinned. For up to the time of the law, sin was in the world, though sin is not accounted when there is no law. But death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those who did not sin, after the pattern of the trespass of Adam, who is the type of the one who was to come. But the gift is not like the transgression, for if by the transgression of the one the many died, how much more did the grace of God and the gracious gift of the one man, Jesus Christ, overflow for the many. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Spirit of truth will testify to me, says the Lord, and you also will testify. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to the twelve, Fear no one. Nothing is concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be known. What I say to you in the darkness, speak in the light. What you hear whispered, proclaim on the housetops. And do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body in Gehenna, are not two sparrows sold for a small coin? Yet not one of them falls to the ground without your father's knowledge. Even all the hairs of your head are counted. So do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father. But whoever denies me before others, I will deny before my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, you know the feeling, don't you? You walk into a room and approach a group of acquaintances. Their back is turned, so they do not realize that you have actually walked into the room. Then, when you are closer to them, you hear your name on their lips. They turn and they see you and suddenly they stop their conversation in mid-syllable. They try to cover it up by changing the subject, but it is too late. You have been wounded by whispers. Do you remember how you actually felt? Did you want to defend yourself or retaliate against them? Did you repay them by whispering against them later? Sometimes, when we have been whispered against, we tend to become paranoid, thinking that everyone is whispering about us. Well, that's really understandable at times, isn't it? So how do we survive when we are surrounded by whispers? I think that we can learn two important lessons today, especially from our first reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. First, 
Remember that those who criticize us do not have the last word. Now, when Jesus died on the cross, Pilate lived sumptuously in the governor's palace. In the end, Jesus is honored. Pilate is despised. The Apostle Paul was beheaded outside the gates of Rome, while Nero reigned as Caesar inside the city. But under the law and perspective of history, Paul is honored. Nero is despised. Today, people name their children Paul and their dogs Nero. Are you the victim of whispers? If so, remember history and trust God who reigns over history. I think the second thing to remember is to trust God to vindicate you. Do not take retaliatory measures in your own hands. Now, Jeremiah wanted to see the whispering of his enemies brought to light and exposed for the cowardice that they really were. But notice that Jeremiah does not take matters into his own hands. He prays asking God for retribution and vindication. He does not lash out against them. He does not lash out against those who oppose him. Jeremiah let God do the judging. Jeremiah trusts God to bring about justice, and he is right. Not only because God alone can judge, but because our efforts of self-defiance almost always backfire. Listen to the wise words of Abraham Lincoln. When you are criticized, do not waste your time on self-defense. Your enemies will not believe it, and your friends do not need it. Trust in God. It is the God Jesus trusted as he hung on the cross, when he was surrounded by mockery and whispers. For when every whispering lip falls silent and the clock ticks for the last time, this is the God who will have the last word, the only word about all of us. Together now, let us profess the faith that we all share. I believe in one God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and earth of, of all things visible and invisible. And invisible. I, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only, only begotten Son, Son of God, God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, from light true God from true God, God begotten, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, he will, he will come, come again, again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Humbly now let us present to God our special petitions. That our church have the courage to witness to Christ in every part of the world, no matter the obstacles, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For world leaders who value the lives of all the people whose, whose lives have been entrusted to them, especially the poorest and most vulnerable, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
for the safety of missionaries throughout the world as they work tirelessly to share the good news among all God's children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For safety from the storms, floods, and other natural disasters of summer, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we might see an end to the gun violence in our nation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. God in heaven, we praise and thank you for hearing our needs as you know our wants, and we make them known through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its action, we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ your Son. For through his paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of being now called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, 
as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Christ. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption 
Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your head and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. O oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, our shelter from the stormy blast, and our eternal home. Beneath the shadow of your throne, your saints have dwelt secure. Sufficient is your arm alone, and our defense is sure. Before the hills in order stood, or earth received her frame. From everlasting you are God, to endless years the same. A thousand ages in your sight are like an evening gone. Short as the watch that ends the night before the rising sun. Time like an ever-rolling stream bears all our lives away. They fly forgotten as a dream dies at the opening day. O God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come. Be now our guide while life shall last and our eternal home. O God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, our shelter from the stormy blast, and our eternal home. Beneath the shadow of your throne, your saints have dwelt secure. Sufficient is your arm alone, and our defense is sure. Before the hills in order stood, or earth received her frame. From everlasting you are God, to endless years the same. A thousand ages in your sight are like an evening gone. Short as the watch that ends the night before the rising sun. Time like an ever-rolling...